Good morning. Welcome to another devotional. Let's open our Bibles in Colossians chapter 4. Today we're going to look at verse 2. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Continue earnestly. What does that mean? Well, we could translate it as be devoted. Devote yourselves to prayer. And you know, prayer is such a fundamental part of our relationship with God. It is, it is our communication with him. And isn't it wonderful that, you know, God wants to have that communication with you. He wants you to be able to come and to, to communicate with him. And the way we do that principally is through prayer. And yet, it's sad that it's the one part of our relationship that is so often neglected. But you know, I think that sometimes it's not that we want to neglect it. It's just that we find it hard to pray. Some people are, are, are concerned, worried about, you know, saying the right things or in the right way. And let me just encourage you, if you struggle with that, you've got an outline of prayer. Jesus taught us what we've called the Lord's Prayer as an outline. So it should help you to structure your prayers. But you know, here it's, it's telling us, Paul is telling us that we need to continue earnestly. We need to pray regularly. Prayer should be a part of our daily walk with him. Even if, if it's just for a few minutes, you know, separating a few minutes a day. Sometimes we need to discipline ourselves and just say, you know, even for this 15 minutes or so, I'm just going to, I'm going to pray. I'm going to focus on communicating with God and sharing my heart with God. Don't be too worried about the way that you say things. So often people are worried about that. And I think the one thing that we have to learn to do in our time of prayer is to be ourselves, to be real. Of course, we want to revere him. Of course, we want to be in awe of him. But the beautiful thing about this relationship that he's called us into is that we can be real with him. He already knows us inside out. He already knows the words that you're going to speak before even they're even formed on your lips. So the one thing you can do is to be real with him. If you need to pour out your heart to him in frustration, you know, then you do that. Read some of the Psalms, read some of the, the, the expressions of the Psalms and that will help you. So we need to continue praying regularly, but also with persistence. Sometimes, you know, we'll be praying into a matter and we so easily give up when we don't see any change. But we've got to persevere in prayer. Very often, you know, you may have to pray months, even years to see something come about. But we know when it's in accordance with his will, it'll be done. So keep praying, keep going. He says, being vigilant or, or watchful in prayer with thanksgiving. And I just want to clarify there. By, by being watchful, it's usually it's associated with the, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That we live with that expectation of Christ's coming. And you see that as you read about the early church and much of what they did and what, dr what drove them, what motivated them to continue in prayer and evangelism and everything else is to keep seeking the Lord. Is knowing that Christ would one day return. And so be watchful, but it also refers to the way that we live. Yes, it's part of our prayer life, but the way that we live as well, we need to be living watchful, vigilant, always walking, you know, in, in, in obedience, in submission to him and his will, knowing that that day will come. And so that we live our lives out and that we pray in light of the truth of Christ's coming with thanksgiving and that's so important isn't it so we could say here you know we are thankful for all that he's done for us we are thankful for the blessings that he's bestowed upon us the daily blessings that so we often take often so often we take for granted but also that we're thankful for the things that he's going to do we're thankful that there is a day when he will come back to receive his church there is a day when Christ will be revealed to this fallen world. There is a kingdom to come. It is here, in a sense, 
but it's not fully here yet. One day it will be. And so we live in the light of that truth, friends. We give thanks to it. We're vigilant. And as we do, we're praying earnestly. Remember that whilst we're in this life, there is a battle going on, a spiritual battle. And so prayer is one of the weapons that God has given to us to overcome our enemy, our foes, spiritual foes. And so let me encourage you. You know, maybe like me, like us all, we need results. We can never pray enough, can we? We need to perhaps be more disciplined, more focused, you know, establishing that purpose to seek God in prayer. Continue earnestly in prayer. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day.